Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're gonna pull this trim piece off. We're gonna use a trim tool. Go under here, pry up. Maybe a little bit tricky over here. You can go back here, pry up back here. some clips that are holding this down. Grab it and pull up. As you can see, these are the different retainers that were holding it down. To disconnect the electrical connectors, we're going to push on this little lock and pull the connector out, just like that. And then same on this one, push that little lock and pull that connector out. We're going to remove these two Phillips head screws. We'll use a Phillips head screwdriver. Pull those out. Next I'm going to use a trim tool. There's some clips that hold the door panel on. I'm going to go in, side, pry out on the clips. And I'm going to go all the way around the door panel. those all out. Now I'll grab the door panel, lift up, and pull it out. Okay. Now we'll disconnect this cable. I'm going to lift up, pull out, pull the cable to the side, pull the ball out. We'll disconnect this electrical connector. There's two little tabs on the side here. We're gonna squeeze those. We're gonna move this handle back and then pull this connector out. May have to wiggle it a little bit. Just like that. Pull the door panel off. We're going to take this insulation off the inside of the door panel. We're going to come over here near the connector, pull that over there. Over here, there's two latches that it's over, so just pull those off. There's two little clips. And we can fold this over the front. Disconnect this electrical connector right here. We're going to use a 90 degree pick. I'm going to slide it in here. There's a little lock. Let's use to fold that down and we can pull the connector off. Just like that. Right, from the front side, I'm going to push a little pressure on the switch. And I'll use my 90 degree pick. I'll just get in here, pry back to release the locks. And then same on this side. And then pop the switch out. I'll remove these four Phillips head screws. I'll use a Phillips head screwdriver. 
Once I remove that last one, you can go from the front of the door panel and just slide the handle out. reinstall. I'm going to go from the front of the door panel, slide this back in, push it up. And I'll get all these Phillips head screws and I'll get those started. Once those are all started, then I can tighten them down. Just snug. It is in plastic, so be careful. To install the switch, you're gonna make sure that the unlock part of the switch goes to the top of the door panel. Line it up. And then we'll just press it in. Lock it in place. And we'll connect the electrical connector. Line it up and lock it in. Make sure it's tight. Now we're going to reinstall this insulation. Slide this over here. And then over here, these little clips over here. That'll hold it on. All right, we're going to connect this electrical connector first. We're going to line it up, push it in, and then slide this handle over, lock it in place. Then we'll connect this cable right here. I'm going to slide the ball through that hole. And go to the side. And lock that in place. Now we're going to push this lock knob through the hole here. Just guide it through. And then line your upper part of the door panel up. You have to push it in so it locks in place near the weather strip. Once that's in place, guide the door pins in place and then push them down. Make sure the door panels flush with the door. And we're going to install these Phillips head screws. Snug that down, and same with this one. Snug that down. Now we're going to connect this electrical connector here. It goes to the mirror switch, and this one goes to the master electrical switch. Right there. Line this up. And lock it down. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.